mean, it, it's tragic, isn't it? 54 Where years old. Where to begin? I mean, you know, it felt like a proper kind of punch this morning. I think lots of people woke up and discovered the breaking news and thought, wow, there's almost like a, a part of my growing up that's now missing. Because we've all grown up with friends. We spoke about this a few minutes, didn't we? A few minutes ago, you know, you either saw it, you loved it, you watched it at uni, you saw the characters and you thought, that's me. Or, you know, in, in Chandler's case, Matthew Perry's character, lots of people thought, I know someone like that in my friendship group. And you feel like you've kind of grown up with these people. <laughs> and uh, I spoke to Graham Norton a moment ago because obviously Matthew Perry's been on Graham's show over the years. And he said, you know, it's a really strange thing to think one of the friends has now right. passed away. And, you know, we, we will love it. It will, its legacy will continue, but it will always be tinged with a bit of sadness. Now. I mean, this is a man who, from the outside, you'd look at him and, and, and could say he was part of a TV show that was an international phenomenon. Nothing before <laughs> it had ever been so popular, internationally popular, Amazing. and nothing since, quite frankly. No. Um, and a man who was blessed with good looks, quick wit, uh, had a succession of uh, very beautiful celebrity girlfriends, and yet he really battled demons throughout his life and wrote that extremely brave and revealing uh, autobiography talking about his experiences as an actor. Uh, he faced a multitude of problems, and I think what's so sad is a lot of people got the impression in recent years he'd, he'd started to turn things around. Yes, absolutely. And actually some people have spoken out having seen him in the last month and said that he looked better now than he'd looked for a long time and that he genuinely seemed to have come out again, you know, fighting fit and stuff. I mean, of, of course, addiction is an illness and it's something that he said would be with him his whole life. And you mentioned the memoir. I mean, some startling statistics. Um, dozens of life-saving surgeries, and $9 million he spent uh, through rehab units, 17 visits, um, 6,000 visits to Alcoholics Anonymous. So it was a real... And he says in the autobiography, actually, in the memoir, that he can go on stage and talk in front of a crowd of 20,000 people. What he can't do, what he couldn't do, was sit at home by himself in the evenings and not have demons visit you know and those thoughts about drink and drugs and what have you it's very yeah, sad it's, isn't it we, we see this very often in the entertainment industry at large don't we that uh, you, you're you okay to sort of pipe up now matthew yes, Arthur, you're, you're I'm, covered I'm, I'm, you're okay yeah, yeah. okay yeah well, well, I, 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 I was worried i was gonna have to throw you out the window and get on with things <laughs> um but you know it I don't know about you, but I very much grew up with friends. I'm about to turn 40, and so I sort of... My teenage years were when it was hitting its peak. And as Steve was saying, the characters were sort of... They, they were your friends. They were very real. You sort of followed the series as if you knew mm. them, and it was very easy to conflate the actor with yes. the character and therefore think that Matthew Perry himself was a happy-go-lucky, you know, quick-witted, yeah. sardonic, had this wonderful support network ab about him. But I think very often people drawn to the performing arts are often those who are fighting some sort of psychological demon. And I also think that, with, as you say, because the brand was so huge, I mean, what's extraordinary is, I mean, I bet you, uh, uh, I, I'm going to chance this as a, as a statistic, which is that I bet you Friends is on telly somewhere in the world every minute of every day you know dubbed into different languages subtitled uh, and probably on in america every minute of every day on different channels so how do you escape that and i yes. think that's the shadow isn't it when you have one character which is so iconic which as you say means so much to people you know you th th living in the shadow of that uh, it, it, you know uh, it is a huge huge uh, thing to overcome we might think that that's the pinnacle of success but in some ways yes it is uh, but it also crystallizes other problems that you have and how do you move on it would seem that the trouble starts when he got that role, the dream role, and suddenly dealing with the fame, with the fortune. I mean, he said, um, he said in his memoir, he can't even remember being in the last three series God, of Friends. Blimey. So between seven and ten. Gosh. He, you know, when he watches it, he goes, yes, I was there, but he wasn't physically there. He couldn't God. remember anything. I wondered if we could play a clip yeah, let's, of him do. at his best, and this is what he will be remembered for. What, man? Whichever one you want. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> oh. Do we dare? We dare. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, anyone listening to that on radio will have just heard a series of quite uh, disturbing noises. <laughs> so we better put They're some pictures chairs. to the side. They are the easy boys. Or yeah, they the have. easy They've got boys. the two matching chairs. I, you know, I know every single episode almost verbatim. I can tell you the backstory yes. to it. When Do you they remember thought the every chair had died, day. it was brought back to life by magic. Rachel had accidentally broken it, was trying to cover it up by buying the second one. <laughs> the chair was called, what was she called? Like Rosanna or Roxanne? Yeah. 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 What's extraordinary is, is that the, the merchandise is still out there. So a whole mm. new generations um, are, are coming to it on reruns. Yes, uh, exactly. Uh, you know, for whom it's a kind of golden oldie, uh, making us feel like golden oldies. But, um, uh, you know, well, it doesn't it, age, it, it, does it? For some reason, even though time. they didn't have mobile phones and, you know, it's just on the cusp of, of mobiles, it, it? When you yeah. think how much life has changed mm, yeah. since then, but it's and a, yet it's ageless. It's about people and our relationship with friends and all of our characteristics and the ups and downs of being in a friendship circle and I don't think that will ever date um, it's, it's funny when I was um, in my 20s it was on E4 every single moment of the day you mm -hmm. couldn't stick that channel on yes. without seeing and my, my younger niece still on Comedy Central every single hour of the day well, they're, they're all on Netflix guys, now you're going to find it aren't yeah, you? it's absolutely. there somewhere they're yeah. all there and my niece uh, Hattie who's 13 absolutely loves it she's been mm. watching it on Netflix she loves it she quotes it she remembers it she's really upset yeah. 13 year old you know really upset this morning at this news I mean people talked for a long time didn't they about the cast getting back together about there being a Friends the movie about whether there be some extra episodes and there was that one program where most of them all got back together and just talked about what it was like making it. Do you think it was important actually that it ended when it did? Because we had this, especially with Chandler, actually, I'd say especially with that character, a beautiful sort of buildings roman development. Sound like a literary professor, now, don't I? But from him being the sort of awkward, sarcastic, not very good with women, you know, housemate of the sort of a you know very popular uh, playboy Joey, to becoming a father figure and sort of growing into his relationship with Monica which started off as sort of two friends fooling mm. around but then sort of began to address very mature topics as the characters age things like infertility adoption um, marriage and so on and so forth and, and buying a first house outside of the city do you think it's a good thing actually that they, they did cut it off when they did so we can just imagine there was this lovely future I mean it's got it still had 240 episodes and 10 seasons but maybe it went on for a bit too long I thought that might be a controversial no. opinion. I, 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 I know when they it got back wrong. together for the reunion, that's when I thought, gosh, Matthew Perry really has some problems. Um, mm. The rest of them were having a great time. He seemed so distant and vacant and not there. And uh, apparently, reading his book, he went from nine stone, everything from nine stone to 16 and a half stone whilst filming those last three seasons. So mm. I think he really struggled to keep it together I think towards those last the three end. seasons pulled together so many threads. It was wonderful. You know, Ross and Rachel getting back together, Chandler and Monica cementing their marriage and having their two twins that they had adopted. And, uh, and there was a spin off, wasn't there, Joey? But I think, you know, especially for someone like Matthew Perry, he is immortalised in a way that as a man he never managed to achieve that in his real life yeah i mean it, it, it clearly the program will live on and his performance is a central part of that and it, you know it is an amazing legacy as you say it's attracting new 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 generations so it's just a, you know it's just a shame that is a that, that, that had that shadow uh, over his life and one problem is of course because you get because it's so successful the checks keep coming so although you know mm. you're spending obviously spending millions on rehab etc he had the resources to do that in a sense yeah. you didn't have that kind of you know cold bath that uh, you know of reality check because you were kind of cushioned and maybe that maybe that was one thing that contributed to it. And I, I was just interested to learn, I didn't realise until today, that he went to school with Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime yeah. Minister. Um, and, and he gave he, a lovely yes, tribute Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Spoke very what a loss he, you know, he was and what a great guy he yeah, was as well. Yeah, I think a lot of people remember him like that. All the tributes. Nobody says this was a man of bad character, but it was no. a man with just Who extremely struggles. troubled mental health issues. Absolutely. Yeah.